So there's a, there's a lot of variations off these things, um, especially when we get in this this reference. Uh, I'm not going to. So like, like, we look like overhook controls and underhook controls, uh, clinches, etc. So we did a little bit work on our arms. We stay underneath the arms. We go back to one of the original setups we did. We got straight arm lock. Uh, but we're gonna kind of go a little bit off, off fun little combination off that. So again, entering in and clearing. Okay, my elbows and reference in. So on this one, we came, we step, we came around and reference. Okay, a lot of times when you get here, the natural reaction is I'm calling it to bend the elbow. Okay, we're gonna keep the bend. We're gonna go like a head push takedown. So I want to keep the bend, and my hand that was here is gonna cheat the top of his head. All right, so I'm actually going to like a reverse C grip, all right? Now, I step out and uh, then a rear step and then push and pull. It falls right into the pocket. It's called a head push takedown. So, one, clear, pop it. Here, he bends, okay? Reverse my grip. I don't want to just keep it here. That, I don't want to have like a pushing down or feel. C grip, I'm actually trying to grab his juggler. I have stepped the outside line. I back step, and my hands do this. I right back to the umbell. All right? It's very, once you get it, it's gonna feel really, really clean, all right? Um, if they don't bend the elbow, obviously, it's a break. All right, they bend the elbow, well, you have a simple little counter to get somewhere else. All right, go. All right, nice and clean. Sure. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you see that the whole you, uh, like when you enter, you kind of get in, and then you kind of, want to do the buffer sometimes, you know what I mean? Okay. You don't want to, you kind of doing this, and then you're here, and then I guess now I can get yeah, this side, right? Yep. Boom. Oh, I got a trick from. Is I use it in jujitsu or grappling all the time on all fours. So let's say like, you know, we're in his position, I'm working, and he's doing a good switch of wrestling hard. I'm gonna take his hand and I get a figure four, like I should have figure four. Now I walk around, and he basically falls right down the pot. So it's the same path to come back up. Uh -oh. Same thing here, it's not getting a, a figure four grip, right? I'm just controlling, but I'm moving my body around where his body structure can't go. Like, he can't fight and survive in this position. He has to fall over. So same thing on the ground. Anytime you're here, you want to put something in your ass, there's a C grip. I was gonna have a reverse hook, but then it's gonna walk around. Same, same concept, it's like pinning the head, isolating it down, hooking an arm, and walking around where he just can't be. You know, you can't fight behind it. I'm just forcing you to fall over. Does that make sense? Yes. Keep going. If you guys want to try a little ground piece too, you can. Um, it might help the concept, but it's a great concept that you did to. Grappling. Yeah. Walk right in. a little like a shoulder. Uh, if you're a stronger guy, you can rotate out. Are you um, entering with striking? Is that how you do it or no? I just got to get like a good demo after you keep moving. Just from a reference here. So you're going to... I like that a lot. I have a very, very, very high grip. Yeah, I don't like that. Straight, could you just do one more and I'll be good? Sure. With the same setup? Okay, thanks. Really, really applicable. Is, let's say I got a, a good scrappy wrestler, and he takes that shot, boom, jamming it, okay? Now I'm really stopping his forward progress. He's not going anywhere. Now I've got my grip, lock it, roll my shoulder. Uh, really, very highly applicable from a double leg, and I think that's why I started using it originally, but then I just, um, and Mike and I were just talking, it's like, 
I hate trying to take it back. Uh, I, I mean, I'm good enough at it, but it's not my. I like rather get side control or neon belly. So I use that a lot when someone's really good at turtling. You're not able to get your hooks in, not able to get control. They're scrappy. Jam their head, get that lock, walk your hips around. It's just a simple little finish. Cool. Keep going. We'll go over a few more minutes, guys. We'll, we'll stop.